I'm looking at something amazing. So I'm just about to go into one of the natural wonders of the United Kingdom, the Wookiee Hole Caves. If you actually look at the ground, there's actually evidence of ripple marks of an ancient river going through this hillside. You've got, you've got ripple marks going this way and that way, so it's probably churning around in this little cavern here. So this cavern here has actually got a river flowing behind me. It looks pretty stationary, doesn't it? But millions of litres of water flow through here every day down there. This is called a stalagmite. It's one of these structures that build up from the floor of a cave. As the water percolates down inside the limestone, it, it takes away lots of minerals and salts. And as it falls into the cavern, it falls to the bottom. That precipitates the minerals very gradually over hundreds of thousands of years. probably taking about 100,000 years to form. Amazing. That is a lot of dissolving limestone. It's five meters higher than the World Cathedral's highest point. And it's still getting bigger. I don't know if you can see, but some of these mineral deposits are really shiny. You see that? twinkling like that. If I had to guess why it was shining so much, I'd say it was a, a mineral, probably salt, which is reflecting the light that way. It's beautiful. These big structures that grow out of the bottom of the cave, they start off with little stumps just here in the floor of the cave. Everyone like passes over them, ignores them. But this, Believe it or not, left to its own devices, in around about 100,000 years, it's gonna be like that other massive one in there. So I'm in another chamber. This place was only discovered about 40, 50 years ago. Uh, and when it was discovered, there had been more people on the surface of the moon than had been in here. But it's actually quite remarkable. This is actually a very unique cave in the world, probably the only cave in the world where you have this. Basically, about 15,000 years ago is what we know as the last glacial maximum, LGM. And at that point, the Earth started to heat up again into the interglacial that we are at today. Now, about 13,000 years ago, when the ice started to melt, the permafrost started to melt in this part of the UK, um, loads of rain started gashing, gushing down a fault line in the rock and caused massive erosion in the limestone. What I'm about to show you is something called gullying. Gullying is where you have water eroding the rock in kind of V-shaped patterns. And you can actually see the fractals. You have V-shapes within V-shapes. Really, really beautiful. So I better get back to my family. I've left them at the play area over there. It's really a fantastic place for kids, by the way. If you've got kids, you've got to come here. It's really child friendly. But I want to thank Wookie Holes for inviting me because by doing so, they've shown me they're not only interested in the kids, not only interested in the tours and the legends, but they're also interested in the sciences. And for me, obviously, as a geologist, that's the most important thing. <laughs> so, Wookie Holes, thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah come to this place check it out it's really amazing holy smokes it's king kong